We describe a complete pipeline for time-varying surface appearance from acquisition to rendering. The appearances of many surfaces evolve with time. In this example, we see rust forming on a steel plate, leading to characteristic spatial patterns and a decrease in shininess. For acquisition of time-varying appearance, we use a dome with 150 light sources and 16 cameras. The light sources can be turned on and off rapidly by computer control. This enables a complete acquisition of spatially varying appearance from one time step to be done in a few seconds. We capture the full time and space varying appearance, or TSV BRDF. We have acquired a database of 26 time varying samples covering a range of phenomena including burning, corrosion, drying on smooth and rough surfaces, and decay. Here we show a single light source and view for six of our samples. In all, we acquire images from 1,280 lighting and view directions. Note the often dramatic changes in appearance over time. These samples evolve over different time scales and have been sped up for the video. We then fit an analytic Torin Sparrow BRDF model at each spatial location and time instance. We can texture map these results onto 3D objects such as the spheres shown here. Here we freeze at time equals zero to show the artifacts with barycentric interpolation in the highlight and boundary of the image. As can be seen, the analytic model is higher quality and without artifacts. Our database enables us to directly render materials with simultaneous changes in lighting along with evolution over time. For many applications in rendering, we wish to separate space and time varying effects so either can be modified to control the time varying surface appearance. We describe a novel space time appearance factorization or STAF. In this example, we show curves corresponding to the temporal variation in the red diffuse channel for three surface points on the drying wood example. These curves look rather different. Our STAF model is based on the insight that a process, like drawing, has an overall time variation described by a single curve. Spatial patterns and differences are due to the different points evolving at different rates. The STAF model estimates an overall temporal variation curve and four spatially dependent textures that determine the initial and final appearance, as well as the rate of drying, R, and the offset, O. Our space-time appearance factorization aligns the time-varying curves from different points to very high accuracy. Here we show that the STAF model can accurately reproduce the drawing patterns in the original data. Moreover, we can create new renderings. Here we show a simple example of time normalization where we remove the spatial patterns by equalizing the rates and offsets for all pixels. The STAF model is accurate for the broad range of examples in our database. As seen in the bottom row, the time varying curves from different spatial locations are well aligned. We now show how the STAF model can be used for a variety of rendering applications. The texture synthesis of time varying appearance can be reduced to standard 2D texture synthesis using the space time appearance factorization. In this example, we create a larger spatial texture for the drying rock example while preserving the overall temporal variation and drying pattern. In this example, we combine time varying appearance from the decaying Apple data set with standard static texture mapping to allow the Beatles record album to decay over time. Our STAF model allows us to extrapolate beyond the acquired data, in this case to see the greener appearance of the apple before the start of data acquisition. We can also control time varying appearance to make some regions change faster than others. In this case, the floor is always dry and the left footprint dries faster than the right. Moreover, the footprints dry inwards from the edges as in the real world. In this example, with a burning wooden bowl and drying orange cloth, we use rate maps to create the appearance of the SIGGRAPH logo, which fades in and then fades out over time as the burning and drying are complete. Our final example is a rusting teapot. We transfer the time varying appearance to a new static texture of a steel diamond plate. We also control the rusting to happen faster at the edges and in high curvature regions. We can render with changing viewpoint and specularities as the surface evolves over time.
In summary, we have presented a comprehensive study of time-varying surface appearance, including acquisition of a database of time-varying phenomena, a space-time appearance factorization model, and a number of novel rendering applications.